The roots of baseball in the Caribbean basin began to grow in the late 1860s when upper class college students from Cuba were introduced to the sport while studying in America. The game spread quickly from one sugar mill town to another. As a result, most areas had an abundance of talented professional and amateur teams at the time of the Spanish-American War. Baseball became a passion in Cuba because it was anti-Spanish, because it was American. Spanish immigration had brought a lot of soccer to Cuba. Cubans viewed it with disdain. They called it the Galician kick, la patada gallega, because, I mean, football is played with, a, 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 with parts of the body that are not as dignified, your feet. American major league teams barnstormed into Cuba in the early 20th century, looking to have some fun during the off season. Cuban entrepreneurs brought a major league team, the Cincinnati Reds. Now the Cincinnati Reds ran into a bus zoo called Jose de la Caridad Mendez. He shot them out for 25 innings. He, he beat them three times. 25 innings in which the Cincinnati Reds, the major league team, could not push a run across against, uh, against Mendez. Babe Ruth came back from his experiences batting against Mendez and, and suggested, you know, if the Yankees had Mendez and Cristobal uh, Torriante, gee, the Yankees could win the pennant by the 4th of July and just go fishing the rest of the year. One of the great uh, 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 things about uh, the United States is that it adapts quickly. If you can't beat them, join them. So the American teams began to sign white Cuban players. The kind of treasure that was in Cuba at this time was a fellow by the name of Martin de Higo, who had been the most prominent Latin ball player, black, white, other or otherwise, in, in, in Cuba and throughout the entire Caribbean area. Well, when he walked to the ballpark, you know who Digo was. He was a big man, 6'5", the way he wears the uniform. He has that uh, charisma about him. He played every position, even pitch, and uh, played in the infield and the outfield. In the middle 30s, in two consecutive years, Martin Digo won the batting championship in the Cuban League, the pitching championship and he was the manager for the winning team. He took it all. Martin Dijigo was a better all-around player than Luque, and many experts say that he was the best Latin player of all time. He played everywhere, Cuba, Mexico, Venezuela, and the Negro Leagues in America. He's in the Hall of Fame in four different countries, but he never played Major League ball. De Higo was not overlooked. He was just not invited to play as a result of his skin. <laughs> 